Welcome back to the Six Foot Tall Wizard Tower build. This is Dungeons Part 1. This is Section 3 of 14 of this series. Just like before, I'm going to start with splitting the cylinder in half, and then I need to add the hinges. I got this box of hinges from Amazon. I think it was about $10. Just need to drill some holes first so that I can screw the hinges in. And then we add our magnets. And I just used some super glue to hold these in place. I tried using hot glue Mod Podge, some other glues, and they just don't work because these magnets are just too strong. Okay, and now we have the shell of our tower. Now we are ready to start building. So just like before, we're going to add some floors and we also need to cut out our doors. And then next I go ahead and add some danger stairs for the outside. If the prisoners want to escape, I highly doubt they're going to want to go up these stairs. I will be adding some foam and some drywall joint compound on the outside and inside for the walls. I've got a lot of ideas for the texturing of this piece, but I wanted to add the stairs first. And this is a little sample piece that I made just to test the different textures that I want to try out. So I think that will look good. Part 2 coming soon. Welcome back to the six foot tall wizard tower build. This is Dungeons part two. I start by cutting out our escape route and then I get started on the outside. I'm just gluing on a bunch of scraps I had from the last few builds. Just some varying sizes of bricks. Some pieces are just made with some cut up cereal box and others from the pink foam. And once you're done it looks like a really sweet rock climbing wall. Next we're going to go in with some joint compound to add a little bit more texture and bring all these little scrap pieces together. I also found this mixture of tiny rocks. I thought that would be great to add as well. That should look really nice when I go and paint this. And yeah, we just do the same process all around the outside of the tower. And I did realize after I went through and did all this work on the outside that I forgot to cut out my windows. But no big deal. I'll just cut those out when it dries. See you in part three. Welcome back to the six foot tall wizard tower build. This is dungeons part three. So last time I painted the outside and I forgot to add windows so I did that now and it turned out fine. And then just like the outside I'm going to do the exact same thing on the inside. Layering the various size of bricks and then going over with the joint compound. I also had my boyfriend 3D print me some torches so I add those to both the inside and the outside. He's also printing me skeleton and torture devices and those are things I'll probably be adding last to the build. So now we have the inside all done. Once the inside is finished up and dried out, I'm going to be adding some grates to the floor using this plastic mesh that I found at the dollar store. And once I have that added in, I finish touching up these floors by adding a few more tiny rocks. And it was around this point that I realized I messed up. When I added the joint compound on the inside, I got the cardboard wet, which made it warp and this no longer closed. So I had to go in and do a little repair. All I did is took out the hinge here and gave this back a little bit more of a gap. And that worked just fine. Not mad about it, mistakes happen. And before we end this video, we're just gonna seal this piece with Mod Podge. And in the next video, we'll start on painting the outside. See you then. Welcome back to the six foot tall wizard tower build. This is Dungeons part four. I'd ask you guys what color you like better, the light or the dark. And you all really like the darker paint job. But I decided to go for a little bit of a blend of both. So what I'm doing here is I'm basing one side white and the other side black and then gray in the middle in the shadows. This will give a really cool lighting effect 
once I go over top of this with the other paints. So I base with this gray color. It's just watered down and the color will be a bit different over the white, black, and gray. So like my sample piece, I'm gonna go in with these colors and I'm going to apply them wet so that they mix a bit better. This will give it a bit more of a natural stone look. So the colors I'm using for this is raw sienna, some burnt umber, and some sap green. Next I'm gonna go in and highlight this with an off-white. This will help make all of the details pop. All that texturing we did in the last videos, that's gonna make it really show up here. Look how beautiful that is. Now all the higher ridges are highlighted. We want to do a similar thing with all the recesses. So we're gonna go in with a black wash and this is going to make a huge difference. And after the wash, we're just gonna go back in with another dry brush of the white. And I paint these stairs and torches off camera. And here's the reveal. Look at that. Look how beautiful that turned out. I am so happy with this. Amazing. Next time we'll do the same inside. Welcome back to the six foot tall wizard tower build. This is Dungeons No Dragons part five. I just wanted to take a quick moment to show you what else we have 3D printed for this build. Got here a little torture bench with a guy already on it. Then we've got this awesome cage. Probably fit a small mini under there. And then the coolest thing we found is a skeleton and he's dressed like a wizard. How perfect is that? I love this little guy. Can't wait to paint you. Then we've got this little stockade and a head chopping block. Absolutely perfect. So we still have a little bit of a ways to go with this, but I have this weekend off from any plans, so I think I'll have this all done probably by Sunday. There's a lot more detail that I still need to add. The chains that I've mentioned, also building a jail cell in that bottom right and just whatever other details I can come up with. And tonight is our D&D night, so I probably won't have a video tomorrow. So maybe one more part on Sunday and a final reveal video to come out on Monday. Since this is still in the build process, if you have any last minute ideas, just let me know in the comments. The one thing that I added to the inside that you haven't seen before is this dirty down rust. I'm going to apply this to the grates. I'll probably also add this to like the chains and the torches and whatever else that would look rusty, like the cage and the jail. Speaking of jail, I did try a test of making this out of some bamboo sticks. I haven't painted this yet or anything. I kind of want to make a door that opens. I'm not sure if that will work, so I'm still kind of in the testing phase with this. Welcome back to the six foot tall wizard tower build. This is Dungeons, the final reveal. Here is the completed outside. You can see the little escape route that we made on the outside just easily pulls off. Now let's take a look on the inside. I made the most adorable little key set. Got a bunch of rusted chains everywhere, some skulls, and some cobwebs. And over here I made a little weapon rack. And of course the jail cell with a working door that you can fit miniatures into. And these are all the permanent pieces of the build. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like when we put some miniatures on it. Just some spellcasters having a battle on the outside. And moving to the inside, here's all those little pieces that I showed you guys. The little stockade, the head chopping block with a little axe. Then we've got the little torture table. We've got that cage and the little skeleton wizard. As you can see, you can fit some standard player character miniatures into the little jail. And you can also poke out the little escape route. Here's a closer look at the little wizard. I painted some stars on his robe. He looks really cute. And yeah, this scale is way too small, so let's just say that this guy's a halfling. And there you have it. I hope you like this dungeon.